sure Did the chat room? Really Are we good? Stream? Away. What could you possibly mean by that? Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered up. No, there is no other explanation. I have no drop frames. What the fuck? That seam. Or that that's weird. It's not a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away. I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect yeah, away. Yeah, he's just okay, he's holding him on his back. There that's you go. certainly within the realm of possibility. Hey. The one being dragged I blame Twitch that for that. Picture isn't Hifumi, but the person I have the no drop frames. Is. Nothing. We've simply been led to believe that it's the other way around. And the strange costume might only exist to lead us astray even farther. I DC'd on multiple levels. If you saw someone huh. wearing something like that in this situation, of course you'd notice and be suspicious. You're right. That's what happened! You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this! <laughs> Must have lost Such connection to the internet for some a second. It's utterly so impossible. Weird. Hifumi was dragging him away? Ridiculous. Is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Then shut your mouth and allow me to educate you. Me and who have the same facial hair. Is that really possible? Justice for Blueprint? You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out! <laughs> then you just draped me across Hifumi and had him carry my weight! You tried to make me look like the bad guy! Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they Maybe? can stand up straight like that. No. I don't get it. Shoot. Hold on. What are my other options? You dressed me up in that <laughs> suit after I passed out. The, the blueprint. You just draped me across the room and had him carry my weight. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. Hey, As Dre. you can see in the picture. The suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. The costume is like stack. You like lock no. into it. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. Because that robo You got that cup? It was a, a great cup. That's right! They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. I'm not so sure that was a mistake. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. <laughs> Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> well then, I suppose this is checkmate. Kyoko, you so wise. I love Kyoko. I hope Kyoko doesn't end up being the traitor. That accent's gone again. Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, there's one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? Who killed me? Oh, wait, I remember their name. Yasuhiro. 
When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear. He hadn't been murdered yet. He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro. In other words, Yasuhiro Hakagure! Right, but my name isn't really Yasuhiro. It's actually Taro. Your confusing statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasuhiro. But are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Kyoko, what do you mean by that? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? Oh god. Did he give us nicknames? It's been so long since I played this. Was it always last names or was it nicknames? I want to say it was nicknames. Oh, it must have been yeah, it must have been last name. Think back. It's been a while since I played, I'm sorry. Refer to each of us. I got it. That's right. Our last names. He called this us a really all long by trial. our last names. Exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. So if Kifumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, Hagakure. I'm sure it was just Incidental. By chance, he just... his first name. Indecent? Don't talk. Random chance. Now isn't that a convenient explanation? No. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So Hifumi was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed Kira him? Kirigiri is my goal. Doesn't lawyer. She's an investigator. She's not a lawyer. It doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to, and that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her Antoine real name is. Antoine 227, thank you so much for following the channel. Welcome. <laughs> Hope you're having a good night. What did you just say? To think. You'd take your false accusation so far. I don't know whether to laugh or spit. I love the I love on. this Enough voice actor. Your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to you? Well, do I? What? She's doing so I good. I've earned you go, the right girl. To be a little on edge. Okay, then fill us in. What's your real name? Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? Let's do something to make her accept. Is it time for one of those right click, left click battles? No, it's this thing again. E handbook. Oh, with her e-handbook, we can see what her actual last name is. Kifumi was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last, last name. Yasuhiro. Well, that's not a con contradiction. Fuck. It's just the... It's just, it would just help us. Shoot. I got so excited. Kifumi was trying I guess, <laughs> to tell us something. I get so excited. This he is a really fun game. the killer's last name. Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name... It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? Would you say that you got trigger happy? Oh my... Celestia Lodenberg, god damn it! How long do you plan I got, to go on for? I got too excited and shot my load early. I'm not pretending. It's the truth. You have no way to call I him. do have a way! No, that's wrong. We do have a way! Great. That's it! The handbook! What? Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us. The handbook, the handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, and so don't lose it. <laughs> when you start up, it'll just be your display name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. 
So all we have to do is check her oh, handbook, and that'll clear up everything. <laughs> Wrong anime. <laughs> that's how we can find out Celeste's real name. That, that's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Hey, Nick. I'm good. Celeste. You hear here. Can you please just it's tell us what really happened? Please. It's true. It was extra good us. because of that. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because, 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 until the game's over, you never know what might happen. Fine then. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again. From oh my god. And shed light on, and that'll bring everything to. Do I have to? This was the longest. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. This is, uh, finally. Oh, you can invent- Alright, so what I didn't know is that you could, like, look at these somehow? How do you look at them? Uh, tab? You can, like, investigate- You can look at the- oh, you can look at the question marks. Okay, thank you. In this case, how did the killer recruit their accomplice? Was it seduction? It was probably bribery, but whatever. We'll see. Justice hammer, clock, backpack. Cheetos? Food? Was it food? Was it- <laughs> What time did they call their victims to the rec room? 1 a.m. Bam. Who is it the killer summoned first? Where is his big old hairy face? This guy. They knocked him out, then stuffed him in the robo fantasy suit. To, in the robo justice suit to falsify their evidence. They used a certain item to do it. Was it two? Because they didn't kill him, so they probably knocked him out with two. What time was Taka supposed to head to the equipment room? Six. That's not six. That's, that's 7.05. Or 7.07. What? Oh, oh, it's the broken wristwatch. <laughs> oh, it is six. It's just sideways. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, said, <laughs> I was like, bitch, that's seven. <laughs> Whatever. The Jones hammer was used to kill Taco. What hammer number was it? Four. In the library of whom he used something to fake existence of a shadowy criminal. It was... Three? Wait, in the library. I think it was three. Which just that hammer was in the... Oh, no, no, no. That was three. What was this thing? Was that it? I forget what the fuck this thing was. Oh, I don't think that's it. How did he... Was it... It wasn't the camera, was it? Maybe it was this one. We'll do that one for now, I guess. I'm not so sure about that one. I don't remember what happened because it's been several weeks. I don't remember what happened in the library. If it means something to move it. Oh no, there, because this is him with the dolly. So that couldn't be it, been it. What did he use to fake? Was it a backpack? I mean, that one's like the one that I'm not certain on. 
Because I don't, I don't remember what happened in the library scene very well. The weapon they used to murder completely. What was it? This one. Alright. The killer is you! I, it might have been the camera. Anything, I think I messed up that one. I think that one should have been the camera. Carry out the murder. And that person was... Oh wait, this is also a fuck up. <laughs> right. Oh look, and here's the context of the camera. Right, this camera. So what did he use? What did she use to seduce him? Oh, is this it? No, because this is the. This is from a different case entirely. Oh, this is the him being seduced image. Right, I think exactly we got it. What happened? That person was a bag of chips. Before anything, the killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder, and that person was. <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. That someone they met with was Hero. The murderous duo intended to pass Hero off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. What is that? Oh, how did they knock him out then? Oh! Wait, what is this question? They knocked him out and stuffed him in the rubber suit to falsify their evidence. They used a certain item to, to do it. Is it the chips? Oh, they used the camera to falsify the evidence. I'm so dumb. In the library, he is to fake the existence of a shadowy criminal. What the fuck is this one? Oh, fuck! It was this! I remember! I remember that was the second hammer! Okay, finally. Got it. Um. They drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the robo-justice suit. Got it. Next. He fully positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking him. While the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. We did it! They did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. And then finally, at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. And that's where Hifumi killed him, making it the scene of the first murder. The murder weapon was Justice Hammer 4. Poor Taka. Was he was so loud. He was just yelling the all the time. The reason Hammer Number 4 was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. Robo Justice. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack story. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and an injured Hifumi to sell us that story. With these two incidents, 
The killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds. That the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. We fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that. But... But While we did that, we left Hifumi alone in the nurse's office. How dare us. This was exactly what Hifumi was hoping for. He took a blood packet <laughs> from the refrigerator and Justice Hammer 3 and turned the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. <laughs> He let out a scream to draw us back, and when we returned, that's what we found. Meanwhile, the other group that had been Why out searching blood pink? found so that they could have a so they didn't have to go up a rating. So, so in all of the Danganronpa games, blood is pink, so that they didn't have to be more higher maturity rank, I E S R B rating. We left the nurse's office. And I actually Hifumi don't know what the rating again is. Took advantage of the situation. I think maybe it's T for T or something. got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, Hifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. W for Weeb. M for Mickey Mouse Murders. <laughs> Top his body in a tarp and use the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. But even Hifumi didn't know what the true killer had in mind for their final act. Cause he was dumb. Their plan all along was to kill Hifumi and get rid of the one person who could betray them. It and is rated M. Using an so it was everyday even, to avoid an even higher maturity rating. That should cover mm. everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all is... Hair with so glowing red eyes. Sorry, you lose. I hate being murdered by hair. I lost? I lost? When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Then you admit it? You're the killer? <laughs> Listen to you trying to take charge. As if you're my private instructor. I, Celestia Ludenberg. Actually, no, Taiko Yasuhiro is fine. Taiko? So, you finally accepted it. I'm the kind of person, once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. Damn. That was a long ass trial. That, was a <laughs> that trial was so long. I can't believe how long that trial was. Goodbye, Celeste. Oh, how's how okay, how's she gonna die? I'm ready to begin. <sighs> or no. I suppose this is the end, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote. Okay? Okay. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, I vote she did it. I vote she... <laughs> How's she gonna die? Oh, is it gonna be a gambling game? 
It's always so brutal. I always feel so cringy whenever I see the murders. Monokuma is a very brutal murderer. It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct. The black in this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was Celestia Ludenberg, or more precisely, Taiko Yasuhiro. Honestly. I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess so. Ifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. How did he fail? So you really did approve, approach Ifumi with this plan. How did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. I'm sure she relied on her specialty lying. <laughs> my specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to him to get him to agree. So then did you use, you know, titties? <laughs> I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get him to act as my accomplice, <laughs> I used her. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but it was the one thing Hafumi and, Taku and Taka were both super into. Oh, the alter ego. Say what? 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 What are you? What are you talking about? Just a second. Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. <laughs> I'm totally out of loop as usual. How sad. In other words. Then you're the one. Then you're the one that stole it. Indeed. Is that his right? I see. And you used it to drag a Fumi into the plan you'd come up with. <laughs> right again? Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um... Actually... It's about what's stolen. I know who did it. What? Are you okay with it this? It was Taka. He stole it. Yeah! Oh. So then... And I have proof. Would you like to see? As it turned out, I found a use for a digital camera. I'd taken you know what to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the pictures as soon as I'd shown him the of course. Damnation! It was him, but how did he do it? He was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her. <sighs> you are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Say what? As for me. Please forgive me. He, he threatened me. Oh. oh. He did. As for me. He came to my room last night unannounced and then it was hard for me to even say. He abused me. What? Bye, Hacker and Thanks so much for the. Oh. Uh, yeah, for the sub and for the biddies and for showing up. I mean, whatever. I'm just gonna skip through this. I wanna see how she dies. I'm just... <laughs> hey, Dre. <laughs> Most unfortunate. Hmm? Actually. What? <sighs> Indeed. Alright, Taka's gonna kill you, bastard, bastard, bastard. Honestly. Can we all get a right, very cack? Absolutely not. How could I? I she have to save her. Join me? I have come up with a plan. <laughs> hmm? I am not skipping the to yeah, I'm skipping to the murder of the murderer. I wanna see it. Yeah, I wanna see how she dies. Power of love. Uh, I, I see. Guess. I have another question, was it? <sighs> Indeed. Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt too. I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I know that he'd make something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first but... place. You decided to make me use something. <sighs> because you're stupid. Let's see. <laughs> 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 well. Cuz you're dumb. <laughs> Are you okay? Listen, after he did his part and pretended to be dead, once the showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he barely held on. Do you really believe that? <laughs> of course. That wasn't all there was to it. As I explained to Fumi, the plan was while you were all questioning him about what had happened, I was going to murder someone else. And at that point, Fumi would have an alibi, so nobody would doubt him. I told him that, and he believed it. <laughs> all seems very straightforward. Stereotypical. <laughs> I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent, in fact. He added up. So in the end. <laughs> but of course, there would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck? Well, that's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be me. I wonder about. No, that. he drives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In the aspect, we're nothing alike. Why? What the heck? Are you talking about the ten million dollars? That is a lot of money, <sighs> but that's not all there is to it. For the moment, when you left me in here, my only thought has been a But. That was a lie. Hey. Couldn't take it. I hate it from day one. More than anyone, anyone else in here. I want to get out. Bitch. Every day was a fresh torture. You want to why, huh? Because I had a dream. Accepting life here would mean that I could get back my dream. As for me, he 
Isn't it wonderful? To live in a European castle. A castle? Wow. <laughs> they gather handsome men from all the world with my butler slash bodyguards. I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. <laughs> <laughs> I created a perfectly aesthetic He's world of trying. decadence. Living the rest of my life, there was my only dream, my only goal. That's what it's, life is about. Oh my god. At least she knew how to party. At least she <laughs> combined with my own winnings. The time I always would have made that dream a reality. Got to the right there to the edge, but to be done. my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued it Just to the, the end. Oh. Ugh. No, why would she feel guilty? Do you understand? Don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> You're all victims. What is this? That's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sunnyvale's not far, actually, so let's just do a Buffy one. Let's just... <laughs> we can do it on the cheap. We can go to Sunnyvale. It's just south of me. <laughs> yes, indeed. <sighs> If I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice then, I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. Hey. You just get executed again. Chills, chills, Finally, chills. she's gonna die now. Let's get rolling in the black and disturb the peace and now must pay the price. Now that I'm- a very special punishment. For, Let's get for her, the ultimate gambler. All right, guys, you ready to see this us. murder? What? Is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. Well then, take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. I like her her other voice way more than her fake accent voice. Like her real voice, I liked it a lot more. Oh man, she's gonna die in a terrible way. I can't, I can't watch, it's always really morbid. Oh my god, he's gonna burn her at the stake? The burning of the Versailles witch? Oh my god! There, it's always cruel. All of the ways he murders people is cruel. He burned her and then ran her over with a fire truck? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Oh my god. Jesus. It's over. The third execution is over. Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friend, so I can't pity her, but I also can't deny at one point I considered her a friend. And for him to just come along and... Isn't it just awful? Someone couldn't cut free of their regrets from the outside world, and so more people had to die. Extreme! You guys are still young. You need to place more value on your lives. What are you gonna do? Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass on the torch of hope to the next generation. Let me out of what here! What do you care about? What do I care about hope? I'll throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. Too bad. You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. It's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, but yes it is. But that's the reality that just can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you gonna make us 
How long are you gonna make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. So anyway, Kyoko, did you see that so did I did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? Hey! hey. So what's the deal with that? Wah -wah? Huh? What's the matter? So then. I'll answer you a question if you answer mine. You. What did you do? What did you do to me? Ooh. Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? Ooh. Oh. How oh my energy is all my energy. Oh, what do you mean? What did I do? Oh, I have no idea. I, I don't know anything about it. What was that just now? Did the mastermind do something to Kyoko's body? What does that mean? Hello. Oh, well, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Well? Meanwhile, you guys can go enjoy your new school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya later! Bye, bitches! Monaco had disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although it wasn't all despair, there was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko. Monaco already mentioned it, but... What's that key that Celeste gave you? So... Most likely, it's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? And that means... Hmm. Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey! I suppose sometimes it's easier to miss what's right beneath nose. Indeed. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said... Hey! I'm going to go in alone from here. Everyone else headed to the dining room. Everyone else head to the dining room. I'll check in with you later. What? Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? <sighs> As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on! That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. What? You? Please let me go. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Goodbye. Do whatever you want. Thank you, Biakia. Well, then. It is up to you now. Yo! I'm gonna go to the dining hall, bro. Huh? So, Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go together? <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like here are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. I tried to forget about what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, le dining hall leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Shall we? Yeah. So then. Mickey Bear Petto's younger bear <laughs> brother. Kyoko took the key to Celeste to give her, had given her and unlocked the locker. As soon as the and as the locker swung open, we saw. You're really cold. Good morning. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> it's safe, thank goodness. I'd never heard Kyoko sound relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> I did just what Celeste asked, so I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. No. Bye, hacker. Thanks for hanging out. I think I may be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please wait just a while longer. <laughs> How are you powered? What's powering you? So now we can officially get the case solved. As far as our incident is concerned, sure, but... Can we take a second? Since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me, what are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? You. It's the power of our love! However... That's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know. That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like, what happens during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that... Indeed. It's only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too? No! I, I believe in you. What? You believe in me. Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends. That's why I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then... That's fine. Fine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see... It all began long ago on a beach in France. <laughs> what I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I 
I decided to confirm she told me with my own two eyes. So I waited for nighttime to come. I went into action. Correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And in the storage closet up there, way in the back, I've seen this room before. She said it was way in the back of the boys' room, storage room. But Kyoko be right about this? Yes. How am I supposed to get there? Okay. I was like, I've definitely tried to get there before because it's on the map. It's just a normal storage closet as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko to told me about. Could it really be here? Well, that definitely does look like a fake wall. No, it doesn't. It just looks like an indented wall. She said the way... It was way in the back of the storage closet. And I mean, seriously, without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. Suddenly, as if I were being yanked in. Do -do -do -do. At the same time I heard this island, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out, the back of the wall was like a revolving door, and I had made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. Correct. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of the closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room. What's in here? Obviously, things and stuff. There's a bunch of files that look like a volume, volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Post Week Academy Student Registry. This is the only thing here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand, but before I had a chance to look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. You must not leave. What is this? You must not leave. It's kind of weird. I can understand if it says, like, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My heel head feels funny. That's a strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I do now? What do I know? What don't I know? I, I... What the fuck? Was I attacked by a g g ghost? A strange sound rang throughout my head. I felt like it was shaking my brain back and forth. And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. All over. With that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. And all the books are gone. It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. An empty bookshelf. Empty, gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does that mean? When my brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread through the rest of my body. For, for now, I should go back to my room. Get some rest. Interesting. My body was heavy with pain. And I suck. Somehow I made it back to the first floor. So the further I walked, the more I felt things are getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. Couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that, hmm? as if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint but undeniable. That sound. It's coming from the gym. What? I, you're like dying. I desperately hauled my shaky frame towards the gym. The sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? Can't be nothing here in the gym. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door of the gym, but sounds coming inside me while only intensified that much more. Punching! Before me raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. Not no one side's not human. That's for sure. Regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why you? What do you think you're doing? Manakuma knows I karate. Ask you a question. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal. 
do you? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. Mm. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay, but you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? My Russian you bear goddess. You have have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> What am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. The end. We did it. We're only down to seven fucking students. To be continued. Continue. Super Robo Justice. Save. Good night, Christina. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Leon killed Sak. Manakuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Mondo killed Chihiro. Then Chihiro got. Then Mondo got executed. <laughs> Hifumi killed Taka, then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. That brings us up to now. Alright. I think that is enough Danganronpa for the week. We will do other things. 